tree. Good morning, everyone. I am in my office this morning. It is 10 o'clock and I'm all wrapped up in my fluffy dressing gown. This is from m and I got this as a gift for Christmas if anyone is wondering, because maybe one of you might ask. I'm having a bit of a reset day today. It's Sunday, did I already say that? <laughs> and I just forgot to put my Invisalign back in because I had my breakfast. I do this constantly. I need like an alarm on my phone to say, Maddie, put your Invisalign back in. I'll go inside in a second and get it. Yesterday was a day of painting for us, but not in our own home. My sister and brother-in-law are moving house and we went round to the new house and painted their nursery because their baby is due in April. I'm gonna be an auntie and I am so excited. So we did that yesterday. So today is a bit of a life house reset and I'm really looking forward to it. This is a New Year's resolution for me, something I'm trying to do, not New Year's resolution, it's just a goal that I want to be more organized at the weekends so that the week ahead is better. When I have a day like this on a Sunday, it really sets my week up to be so much better than if I don't have a day like this on a Sunday. So I'll take you through what I do to set me up for the week ahead and it really calms my mind, it gets me organized and there's nothing like it. It literally helps so, so much. So I do have a bit of work to do this morning. So I've written a little list. This is the first thing that I recommend you do if you're gonna have a little Sunday reset. Write a list, but don't make the list too long. There's something that I have let slip, which is called a done for the day list. And I used to do this and it helps so much. I think it's Greg McCowan or McEwen, McCowan? He, um, I listened to his audiobook and he taught me this trick. So basically a done for the day list is writing down only the things that you absolutely have to do today or the essential things that you want to get done today and nothing else. And if you do that every day, it basically will mean that you'll be more productive, you'll be better at prioritizing things and you're not gonna feel overwhelmed. And it really does work because when I write to-do lists and I just add everything on there, some days I'll get them done and I'll be like, wow, I had such a productive day. Likelihood is though, the next day I'm not gonna be as productive and I'm gonna be a bit tired from the amount of stuff I put on my shoulders the day before when I was motivated. Writing a done for the day list just focuses you. It helps you prioritize what is most important because if I have a long list, I'm gonna do the easy things <laughs> and I'm gonna do the things that aren't priority. So this really, really helps. So this book actually has like 10 things, which is actually really useful to not make it too many. I've written extras here, like 10 things is still quite a lot. Ideally you wanna keep it at like five, um, but I've written down things like walk Roxy and have a bath, which aren't really to-dos. I've just written them down because it's a Sunday. So today I have to edit a brand video. Bit annoying having to do work on a Sunday, but last week I was away and so we didn't have a Monday and it was a bit of a, a week where we didn't have as much time as we usually do. So I'm doing that today and sending it off to them because it's quite urgent. Next I'm gonna go inside and do a bit of a quick tidy up just to make sure everything is tidy. That's something I wanna do every single day because sometimes I don't and then the house gets more and more messy. So trying to do that every day and make time just to tidy up just for like 15 minutes to half an hour. Then I'm gonna go to the gym, I'm gonna get dressed and go to the gym. And then I'm gonna do a food shop at Travascus. Alex and I, the other day, wrote down our list of food that we're gonna have for the week. And this is something we're doing as well. We're trying to have two recipes each week that are new from our recipe cookbooks. And we cook one each. And it helps us try new meals, eat more vegetables. And it's just a really nice thing to do. And then we write down just like a loose plan of what other foods we wanna eat that week. So it's two new things and then other things that we just know how to cook. And then I can make an actual food list. And we're trying to shop local more because at the end of last year, it was kind of getting stuff from Riverford and then going to the supermarket and not having a food plan, which leads to food waste. It also means you don't eat as healthily. It just isn't organized. I much prefer the idea of writing a list, just going to the local farm shop and you spend less money, you're supporting local food and it's just all round better. So I'm gonna do a food shop at Travascus and I would love to do this every single week because we've got our Riverford delivery on Friday and everything else we can go get in the farm shop. And there's so many farm shops around here that I wanna try new ones. Then I'm gonna come home and I'm gonna clean the fridge because it really needs a deep clean and restock it. We have to get back to our caterers for our wedding for the um, something, of, what's it called? Something of order? order of the day, order of the day, something like that. Basically, we have to go over what they've sent us and say yes or no or whatever and, and go back to them. I'm also gonna do a quick tidy up outside, though I may, might make Alex do this because that's kind of his territory. There's like 
stuff outside because we're having renovations done that needs to just go away because it just looks such a mess um, and then I'm going to walk Roxy come home I'm going to plan my week ahead on my google calendar this transforms my life when I do this my brain is not capable of storing this information and getting it done I have so much in my head that it just flies around and then I forget things so easily so writing it down and planning the week and um, I mean like properly planning like time blocking the entire week really helps and then I'm gonna have a bath I'm gonna read a book and I'm gonna have an early night and that is my plan for today so join me I'm excited I want my Sundays to be like this. Whenever I have a Sunday where I flop about and don't do anything, I just don't feel good because it's a waste of my day. And in the moment it feels good when I'm watching a TV show lying there, but it just, it doesn't feel good. I did that this morning. I watched two episodes of Winter House and it was wonderful. I had my breakfast, but that's enough. I need to now realize I'm an adult and I have things to do. So <laughs> I'm gonna get on with editing and then we're gonna go and tidy. This is why you need lists because last week I had a bit of a disaster week and it was very disorganized. I think after a holiday, I forgot to write down that I need to post a video today. Alex is finishing the editing for it. Um, but yeah, that's, that's ruined my nice little concise 10 list. I'm gonna have to add a little thing on the end. And it had, I written a list last week, like a master list and organized my calendar. Like I usually do. I would have known to put that on there because I always reference that when I write my list and I reference last week. I mean, my calendar is fine. Like it is organized. There's like loads of stuff on it, but not how it usually is. So, but good job I remembered. Because sometimes when there's not a video from me, it's just because I've forgotten. The video is exporting, it's uh, real, so it's really fast to export. I am gonna write the caption, so that means writing out the recipe, send it to the brand, and then they will approve it or give me any tweaks, and then I will post it hopefully on Monday. Um, this is the process with brand deals. Um, you have to get approval from the brand first. So they, maybe you've forgotten something or maybe there's something that they're not sure about and they wanna change or they wanna add this. Usually it's just very small little tweaks. Well, hopefully it will just be a few tweaks to the caption and then we can get on with tidying the house. Do you know what quote I saw this morning that I really needed to hear and I thought I'd share with you in case you also really needed to hear. I even screenshotted it off of the TikTok video and made it my home background so that I'm reminded when I go on my phone. Remember, these are the days your younger self once dreamt of and your older self will long for. Cherish them. I really needed to hear that. I really did. I'm just using Trello and I thought I'd give a bit of a shout out because I absolutely adore Trello. It is a life changer. It really helps me so much because it's so, you can break it down into so much detail. So if you are self-employed or you have clients or something like that, it really helps me, especially for brands and sponsorships because there's so much to remember. So I have um, all my current projects. So for example, this project that I'm doing now, on that board, there will be the brief attached. So I can immediately access the brief. It will have information like what the date is that they want it approved by. Um, any um, information they told me via email will be copied in there. And then I have deliverables next month. These are just different like cards. Deliverables this month, waiting on the products, brief info dates. Um, I've received the products. I need action taken, shoot date booked, shot and edited, sent for approval, approved, and then complete and then finished, not yet invoiced, finished, invoiced, not yet paid, finished, invoiced and paid. So it's, <laughs> it's really helpful to not only track your progress, which is motivating because you can like move things over, which is very like rewarding. I know that psychologically that is really helpful to have like small steps noted. So it's like, I've rather than just saying, have I started like me ticking off um, do brand deal, that's just too broad. And it means that you don't, it feels like a big job and you're, you're still doing it and you haven't ticked anything off that day. You could have spent all day doing it and you still aren't able to tick that job off. 
So doing it like this, it would be, I've edited it and I've sent it off for approval. I've shot it and that's done now, that job's done. Um, so once I've done this, I can move it over to sent for approval and it's so helpful. You can have all the different labels. So I've got all the labels, like whether it's an IG reel, whether it's an IG story, whether it's a YouTube inclusion. And I have the exact same for my content calendar. So I have them separately. It's a whole other board for my content calendar. And I look at it in the calendar view and it's so, so useful. So I have all of my content. So Instagram posts, Instagram stories, I'm really working on this. This is the area that often gets a bit waylaid because I don't, I forget to look at it. Um, and I like to be a bit spontaneous and then I post something and I'm like, oh wait, I was supposed to post that today. So my job this year is to look at this every single morning, the first thing before I do anything. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd give a little bit of shout out to Trello because it changed my life and my work life balance and my organization is so much better as a result you get all the videos that you do and you get all the content that you do because of, I mean, because of me, but also because of Trello. It's just a life changer. So now I'm gonna go to the board. I'm gonna find the brief. So I have it to reference when I'm writing up the caption for the brand. Content is sent. I need to get inside and wash my face and have a big glass of water. These eye bags, I set up too late last night. <laughs> quickly mentioned this skin proud refresher hydrating face mist it's so beautiful i use it throughout the day i tend to do it when i've like done my skincare after i put my makeup on at the end of the day in the middle of the day it just is beautiful i love a good face mist i'm gonna put hair oil in this is something i'm trying to do more i really want to grow my hair again and i want it to be healthy when i grow it because i had a habit before of trying to grow my hair and basically just not cutting it and then it gets kind of dead at the ends my hair needs to be cut regularly for it not to be dead at the ends. So um, I'm trying to use a hair oil before I wash it and washing it just once a week. I mean, I already did that, but I feel like I started to wash it more for the sake of like videos. And I'm trying not to do that. I'm trying to make it just like once a week. So later on I will um, wash it when I have a bath. I do use a diffuser now. Um, I actually find it's quite a positive thing because I use hair heat protectant and it means that my hair dries quicker and I just find it works very conveniently. I don't do it every time, but it does, it is very convenient for me to use a hair dryer. It's definitely something that I didn't used to do. I never used to use any heat, but anyway, I'm rambling about my hair. I'm gonna put my t-shirt on and we're gonna go to the gym. This is the hair oil I'm gonna use. It's the Zero Waste, Zero Waste Shop Bliss Beauty Oil, but I also just use argan oil sometimes as well, but I'm gonna use this one today. I feel so slicked and greasy. I hate my hair like this. I feel like a child slash a boy. <laughs> but um, I don't know, it feels very productive to be, it's 11.56, so to put yourself in a good mood, this just puts me in a good mood to have done my skincare and I like, took time with it and give myself a little face massage, oiled my hair, I've got my gym kit on, I'm gonna go get groceries, and as TikTok would say, I'm gonna be that girl today and I'm gonna go get my groceries, I'm gonna come home, I'm gonna organize the fridge and I'm gonna feel healthy and thriving. 30, flirty and thriving. This is how I intend my 30s to be. I wanna just know myself, know what makes me feel good and just be an independent woman who goes to the gym on a Sunday and goes to get her food from a farm shop 
and listens to lovely music. This is the stuff that makes me very happy and it's a really lovely day today. Like, you know, the crisp blue skies. Oh, I love it. I've got my fancy new headphones. Alex got me these for my birthday because I was, I have to, I have one other pair of headphones and I use them for editing and for going to the gym and I always moan at Alex and I always say to him, can you go get my headphones? <laughs> He's gesturing at me in the kitchen. He just mooned me from the kitchen. Yeah, I always go to the door in the morning and then I don't have my headphones. So then at like six in the morning when I'm going to the gym, I have to go out the back of the house, unlock the office, go get my headphones and come back in. And it seems like a small thing, but that early in the morning, sometimes it has been like make or break whether I go to the gym. <laughs> it can push me over the edge. So he very thoughtfully, thoughtfully got me another pair so I can have one for the gym and one for editing and they don't have to move. And yeah, it's very practical. Anyway... Let's go. Oh, okay. Okay, I just got out of the gym. Nice and sweaty. I did quads and carbs today. And I use, I've mentioned this so many times, but I use the app Tone and Sculpt. And it gets me to the gym. I used to do my own sort of routine where I do sort of push-pull legs. But I found it repetitive. And also, I think I was doing too many things each time. And I like this app because... It breaks legs down to quads and calves, glutes and hamstrings. It has pull, push day, and then if you want to, you can do a full body. And it progresses as time goes on. So it's like a really long program. It lasts weeks, like, I think it's like 28 weeks. I don't know. I need to double check that. It's very, like, it's not like a, oh, get shredded in 12 weeks or get shredded in six weeks. It's like a really long uh, program. And the point is that you keep doing it and it advances it. Like today it was drop sets, which I really enjoyed because I started getting a personal trainer about a month or so ago. And honestly, it's been so positive for me because she is such a lovely person and she really encourages me to push harder and lift more. I'm very tall, I'm like five foot 11, six foot. Um, and I am a strong person, I've always been strong. And I think that when I go into the gym, I underestimate how strong I am. So for example, today it was drop sets, which I haven't done before. It was sets of, so if you don't know what drop set is, it's basically where you do um, lower, lower reps and you increase the weight. So it was reps of 10, then eight, then six, then six. No, yeah, it was 10, eight, six, four, four, two. And I did that with a leg press to begin with. And I was able to like lift so much more just by pushing myself. And by the time I got to the two sets at the end, I was actually able to do four of a weight that I just had no imagination that I would ever be able to lift, which is, it's so empowering. I love lifting weights because you feel so strong. And before having a personal trainer, I would never have done that. I would have just stuck with what I know. I would have just done 12 reps um four sets of 12 reps at like a comfortable way and been like oh yeah I pushed myself but really I've I've not pushed myself and I think that is the key to uh strength training and improving your fitness is to always be suffering <laughs> like when you're not suffering because you want to enjoy the workout like it feels good but you want to be finding it difficult and I think that's something that I've struggled with progressing in the gym for a while is I was always just doing what I'm comfortable with and kind of going to the gym, being like, I've been to the gym, I've done my exercise and I've left. And sometimes I'd sweat, sometimes I'd not, but like I need to be going to the gym and finding it hard. Like when I use the Peloton, I find it difficult. And then you finish and you're like, oh, that was really enjoyable. It's not like it's not, I'm not saying you should do something that's not enjoyable. Yeah, that's what it's taught me. And I just love this app for being able to have a unique workout and new workouts constantly obviously you have to pay for the app but i just absolutely love it um and i think she's coming up with a new program tomorrow so i might actually just scrap this one and start a new one anyway i'm going to mns my battery's flashing at me and i'm gonna get some socks because i've run out of socks and <laughs> for the gym and i think alex wants a new pair of tracksuit bottoms because his favorite ones are from mns and then i'm gonna go to Tarascus before they shut because it's well no it's only 1 20 past one i've got ages picked up all the socks i needed <laughs> um i just don't have any like uh trainer socks and also yeah just trainer socks all my socks are like fluffy thick socks for like boots 
so I needed some more trainer socks as the ones I have as well I think I've had them for so long they've shrunk over time um, because of washing them and so I've got quite big feet I've got like size 8 feet so yeah I needed to get some more so hopefully they're, they're gonna be good and I also got Alex's trackies and now I'm gonna go to the farm shop I also got myself a coffee I annoyingly left my reusable cup because I know they're obviously accepting reusable cups again now um, I left it at home I put it on the side and I don't have it so I got myself an oat milk latte vanilla latte but yeah just a little bit of reality I'm not perfect I actually don't get coffees takeaway coffees like ever but today I fancy it I'm a bit hungry because about lunchtime so I need to rush to the farm shop now and then we can go home and make lunch. I'm back and I'm covered in mud. I went to get our curtains, we had to get our curtains adjusted and the lady, our seamstress who's making them, she lives on a farm and it's like down a really really bad road and I got there and I think she's got like five or six dogs and they all ran over to me and all of them jumped on me and I'm now covered in my mud and then my shoes are now gonna have to go in the washing machine not ideal but hopefully the curtains are now right and we can hang them up and i can show you them but i thought i would show you what i got in Travascus first i'm not gonna pack it all in the fridge yet because i need to basically i'm gonna have some lunch and then i'm gonna pack it all away in the fridge and just put the freezer stuff away because i need to empty the whole fridge because it's a disaster zone in there so we've got some coriander this very interesting russian kale got two little sprigs of that got loads of tomatoes because Alex loves his tomatoes next time I'm going to bring my own thingamajigs I just completely forgot this time got some chilies in there some red and green chilies cucumber spring onion ginger pomegranate this is for a recipe this week I've got three limes and three lemons and then a couple of avocados. Again, that's for another recipe. And then we've got some spinach, some rockets. My favorite tea, this is peppermint and licorice. Love this tea. Um, some Thai rice noodles. Got some Rude Health soya drink. I haven't tried this soya before, so thought I'd give it a go. And some uh, Oatly Barista got two of those each we ran out of milk this week and it was a disaster we did get some from Riverford we always get this one from Riverford the rerouted but it's obviously one that you have to have in the fridge and once it's open so I like to get UHT ones for the cupboard because um yeah it's helpful if we've got tradesmen here my sister works with us we get through quite a lot of milk especially since we now have a new coffee machine I have a like a frothy coffee every morning so I use a lot more milk than I used to we've got the um tortilla wraps I got some tender stem broccoli, which I might eat now. I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna eat now. Bean sprouts, that's again for one of the recipes. Got some frozen berries, which I'll put away now. Got some organic mango. This looks delicious. I know I got some the other day from Archie Brown's, but I thought I'd try this one. Got some smoked hummus and some normal hummus. I do like making my own hummus, but it's just one less thing to do. <laughs> so it's quite nice to have it. Same goes for these soups. I saw them and I was like, I like to make my own soup, but it is one less thing to do. And I think it will be quite useful because lunch is the meal I struggle with the most. And some days I have time and I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna make a soup. But some days you're rushing and you wanna eat something healthy and this will be perfect for those days. So I can just reach for some organic tomato and lentil soup. I also got some organic pea soup. I love the jar, so I'll keep the jar afterwards. I got some organic lentil and pumpkin soup. And then I've got chickpeas and black beans and edamame in a tin. Genius, I'm very excited about that. <laughs> they didn't have the normal tofu. That's one thing they're missing that we're gonna have to figure out where to get um, because this is silken tofu and we need normal tofu. But I can always just nip into a shop on the way home from somewhere. I got Roxy some paws for Kate dog treats. This is a Cornish dog, dog treat company. I think it's a mixture of um, dog treats. Chickpeas. Oh yes, this is some tricolor quinoa. I actually really like quinoa for lunch, so I thought I would cook that and then I can have that this week. And then lastly, some organic sauerkraut, turmeric and curry. 
I try and get Alex to eat kimchi and sauerkraut and he doesn't really like it. So I thought maybe this might make him like it because it's going to be curry flavoured. And that's everything I've got. So we're going to make lunch. I don't know what I'm going to make. There are some mac and cheese bites staring at me that I made for that brand video that I was talking about with Via Life. And I really want to eat them. But I also want to be healthy. I'm going to have like one of them. But um, having just mac and cheese bites for lunch, probably not ideal. <laughs> so I'll try and make an actual meal. I found the perfect food. I'm gonna have this, this is all plants. I cooked this the other night. I'm gonna actually ring Alex to check what day it was so that it's not out of date, but um, I'm gonna heat this up. Hopefully if it's, it was only a couple days ago. In my head it was only a couple days ago, but it might have been like Tuesday or Wednesday. <laughs> in the meantime, I'm gonna eat a packet of these. We got these in m &S yesterday because we had the m &S, m s vegan pizza, which is the best vegan pizza from any supermarket and I always add topping. So Alex adds, I think he had onion and chili and I added mushroom and red onion. And then we had the Southern fried uh, vegan chicken bites from M&S as well. The best chicken nuggets. M&S is just the best when it comes to vegan alternatives. Their vegan chicken nuggets, or it's not the chicken nuggets, it's the Kentucky, Kentucky Fried Vegan Chicken or whatever it's called. It was so convincing the first time I had it, I had to go and get Alex to check the label because I thought it was real chicken. And I gave them to my sister and brother-in-law and they were like, these are insane. They are so, so good and so Moorish. So if you're missing chicken nuggets or you're wanting to reduce um, on eating meat, then try those because they're really, really good. But yeah, I'm really loving seaweed at the minute because when you're vegan, you can be low on iodine and seaweed is packed with iodine. I do take supplements to make sure I'm covered, but it's just very delicious. I mean, aside from anything, I just really like the taste of it. Mm. And the m and ones are a little bit cheaper than the, um, is it Itsu? The branded ones that you get in the supermarket. I think they're still expensive. These were two pounds. Um, but I think the Itsu ones maybe are two pound 50. Yeah, they're quite an expensive snack, but I just, I think they're so, so delicious. I'm really trying to cut back on crisps because I eat too many. <laughs> Puppy, do you want a treat? <laughs> down. <laughs> Gotta stay down. 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 Good girl. Good enough. <laughs> I'm gonna blast some Taylor Swift and do this fridge. some pretty cool um, non-alcoholic stuff the other day. This is Seawood Pepino from Pentire, who are a Cornish company. And I really like their um, spirit. So I really am, am excited to try this because I kind of did what well, I half did dry January. I took a break obviously for my 30th birthday weekend, last weekend, because it's a celebration. And then on Friday night we had a amazing evening which was basically my birthday celebration with my friends so I had like a family meal on the Thursday night went away with Alex and then I had a meal with all my friends on Friday night with some of my friends it was really really nice and I um, had a few drinks then but basically this year my my goal and my aim with alcohol to have a better balance is to drink it socially and for celebrations and be mindful of my intake and if I'm feeling stressed not to drink. So if, for example, I've had a really bad day and I want to go out in the evening, then I'll say, oh, I'm designated driver because that set tends to be the times that I overdo it and it's never a good option. But if you go out and you don't drink, you can always have a good time anyway. So I'm really happy to have these kinds of options. This is the Clean Co non-alcoholic golden spice spirit, which we actually did have on Friday night before I went out because my sister's pregnant, she's not drinking. So we had this with some orange juice. Oh no, pineapple juice and some coconut water. And this was sent from um, Little Moons, which are, by the way, amazing. <laughs> so delicious. I haven't tried them before, but they're so good. They sent me the vegan peanut butter ones. Oh my goodness. But yeah, really nice to have these options. And I'm going to keep them in the fridge so that it's um, a reminder that if one evening I'm like, oh, I fancy a drink, I'll go for this first. Um, 
so yeah check them out if you're trying to reduce your alcohol too or if you aren't drinking they're really great i think i'll even make one when i have my bath later this is what we're working with look at all this mess disorganization Ugh. a much more organized fridge and I'm going to try and work my way through some of this food that's been here for a while so actually what I need to do what I would like is my fridge to always be like everything be visible um we've got sent all these um mayonnaises and Alex has like opened all the different flavors so we've got quite a few like on the go which really irks me because there's like one, two, three, four, five, six different mayonnaises. <laughs> and I don't really like mayonnaise and Alex doesn't eat it that often, but um, we'll make our way through it. We've got all of our non-alcoholic drinks, a couple beers, a few sort of soft drinks because it's kind of nice to have this fridge for when people pop over and then there's always a drink available. And we've got our cheese shelf. These are loads of cheeses that Alex got um, from Food by Samer definitely ordered quite a few and then we've got quite a lot left over from Christmas again ones that Alex bought and then we doubled up on the butter because I bought some and then Alex bought some so I think that basically what I'm gonna be doing from now on is I'm gonna be doing the food shop because when both of you do it you don't know what each other's got and like Alex doesn't really care he's buying those things to be helpful and because he finds it fun to buy new cheeses but the reality is it doesn't get eaten he's not as organized as I am when it comes to knowing what we're eating or what foods realistically and like scaling it. He just is like, oh, woohoo, I'm gonna buy all this vegan cheese. So I think if I'm doing it each week, then it, we should get on top of things better. And it probably will keep his mind off of it too. He doesn't have to think about it. This shelf just got random stuff, basically kind of like desserts and puddingy food, like chocolatey things. And then here's, um, again, like kind of stuff that doesn't really fit into any category, just like we've got gnocchi, olives, tofu, and then this is the good bit so we've got all our fruit and veg looking very fresh mixture from riverford and trevestis and then the bottom one is the salad drawer and i've also got kale and herbs in there and then this is kind of the same i just tidied it up a little bit um so it looks a bit neater but now we've actually got space and that's way better i've got to upload a video in half an hour so i've got about 15 minutes before i need to go next door and I'm gonna put the rest of the food away because this food needs to go in the cupboard and do a bit of washing up because some of the um, jars, there's like one yogurt that's gone out of date and stuff like that I need to um, wash up and recycle. And then we can go next door. Hello, so there has been a technical error with the video won't bore you with it it's not going up today so it's going to go up on monday and we're, i'm actually now considering whether i always do this i'm always you guys know how um all over the place i am with our schedule it changes all the time and sometimes it doesn't go up i don't think you think i'm that youtuber who always gets the, the video up on specific days but i aspire to be that youtuber um, I look so, I can't believe I've been on camera all day with my hair like this. Anyway, I have been thinking recently, but we've tried so many different combinations. Um, we used to be Monday and Thursday, and then we went to Wednesday and Sunday because sometimes Monday was like too soon. And it meant that I was like, leave, I'd be like, oh, I have Monday to do it. I'll just do it on Monday. Whereas the Sunday was kind of like, I have to do it by the end of the week for Sunday. But what's happening is it's actually creeping over into my weekends and sometimes we are like Alex as well. Um, we'll be editing it on a Sunday and I just, I'm not so sure about it. And then when that, something goes wrong like this, it's a bit stressful. So on, you know, I've had a lovely day and then that's happened and it's kind of like, ooh, it's annoyed me. Both Alex and I have got frustrated by it. So I think I'm gonna give it a go again Monday and Thursday and I guess you'll see if it sticks. <laughs> hopefully and you know even if it's going up on monday we'll try and edit it for the week before anyway that's not interesting so that's not going up today i'm gonna let it let it go um that's another lesson you know this is all about 
resetting, feeling good. Sometimes things don't go to plan. And I'm now using those times as a lesson rather than getting annoyed. It's about what can you learn from it? And I've learned, like I just said, that maybe Sunday is not the best day for uploads because this keeps on happening. So we'll give Monday a go. Um, so I'm actually gonna, so I've ticked off a few things on my list, but I'm gonna cross that out. So um, uploading the video, that's crossed out. So that'll go up tomorrow. So we've got to contact the caterers, which we'll do after dinner, Alex and I, um, go through the order of the day. And then I'm gonna plan the week ahead on Google Calendar in bed after I've had a bath. So I'm gonna have a bath, read a book, um, plan on Google Calendar and then I'll do like the time blocking and all the thorough sort of nitty gritty tomorrow. So um, it just prepares me for tomorrow. I know what I'm doing, but then tomorrow I can actually physically put it all into the calendar and time block it out. But I, I'm gonna write like a list and everything and then go over that with Alex. And that means I've done everything that I wanted to do today apart from the, um, the YouTube video, which is kind of out of our hands. So that's really good. So I'm gonna make dinner now. I think I'm gonna make a roast just because we have so many potatoes, but I'm not gonna do like a fussy roast. I'm literally gonna get a roasting tin, chop up a load of vegetables and shove them in um, and have something from the freezer with it and some gravy, yum. <laughs> potatoes are in the oven. I've got tender stem broccoli that I got today and then parsnips and carrots from Riverford and then I've just looked through the freezer and found the future sausage which I've not tried from F future farm so I'll pop those in the oven probably probably at the same time as these guys and it'll be a yummy yummy roast. Mm -hmm. 